All right, so driving shoes. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. A couple of weeks ago, I had no idea what driving shoes were. I had never heard of them. And when I got an email from today's brand discussing them, I thought at first we were just discussing moccasins or boat shoes, because I have a pair of those. But after doing some research, I quickly found that there are much more to these fancy things than I thought. What is happening guys? My name is Mike, this is Modern Man TV, and today we are talking about these guys right here, driving shoes. We're gonna be going over what they are, what they're for, the killer brand that's making these, and of course, my experience with owning them so far. First of all, what the heck is a driving shoe? This is something that I even had to look up myself because again, I had not ever heard of them before a couple of weeks ago. A basic definition that I found of a driving shoe or driving moccasin is a contemporary version of the standard moccasin with the addition of these rubber tabs on the soles for extra grip while driving. Now after doing this research and reading a little bit about the driving shoe history, I really think that these are a perfect example of a piece of attire that was created out of necessity. Because really they were made by Italian guys who just wanted a little extra grip on the pedals of their sports cars. But after reading about them and, and really having a pair in my own possession here, I started to wonder how this translates to us today. And I guess really to be honest with you guys, the answer is we don't really need these today. We we aren't using these like they did back then. Our sneakers do the exact same thing on our pedals and especially on my pedals, they already have, you know, a nice amount of grip built in. But again, doing research and looking further into these, I've found that that hasn't stopped people from picking these up and enjoying them. Even people like me who don't own a sports car or even, you know, a super fancy car. These can still be enjoyable shoes to own and wear. Now, the brand that makes these here is called Max Lamari, and they reached out to me and asked if I would want to take a look at their shoes, just give my opinion, talk a little bit about the process, you know, the usual. No money at all was offered or accepted. I'm not getting paid. This is not a sponsored video or anything like that. I agreed to do it because like I said, I had no idea what the heck driving shoes were. And really, I was just curious about trying these out and having a pair and really telling you guys what I thought. I thought it would make for a good episode. But really, the first thing that you need to know about Max Lamari, the brand, is the team that makes up the brand. We're talking about Italian shoemakers that have worked collectively for over 40 years with brands like Dior, Gucci, Armani. And what they have done here is taken their knowledge and experience and they've brought it into this new venture, Max Lamari, to create luxury drivers that are handmade with the best possible materials. Now, the amazing part about this is each shoe is made by hand and it's made to your specs so it'll fit perfectly. And really, the first thing I noticed that when I got them out of the box and slipped one onto my feet, you just really get a sense for the work that goes into making these. Now we talked a little bit ago about what these shoes possibly could be good for. I mean, I, I already told you I don't have a sports car or anything like that. I drive a Jeep Cherokee for crying out loud. So what could these be good for? Well, I did notice that they do provide good grip on the pedals of my car actually. So in that sense, they do work for technically what they're designed for. Again though, it, it's pretty much the same as sneakers or something like that. But I know a lot of people still like the style. So really what you're getting here is the look and feel feel of handcrafted Italian shoes that really are still functional. I mean, really here in the US, it's summertime. That's the best time of the year to be wearing shoes like this. And what I've actually found is wearing them sockless is the best way to go, at least for me. It looks the best, it feels really nice. And you know, that is personal preference, but in my opinion, sockless is definitely the way to go. I guess to answer that question I just asked a second ago, what are they good for? I think it's all about the look. Really what you're getting here is the experience of wearing them and the experience of having them, knowing the work that goes 
into them. So at, I guess at first you do have to be a little bit attracted to these type of shoe and then be further attracted to the look in order to find them useful. And that's pretty much what drew me to them. I found that they're very easy to work into my wardrobe. I found that pairing these drivers with shorts, pin rolled denim, or even joggers made for a really nice casual look with these shoes. The white color that I chose also works with so many styles too and leaves the options totally open. Now again, I chose these white ones, but they actually offer many different colors and actually different styles of shoes as well on their site. Take a look here actually, they got so many different shoe style options so you can choose whatever you like and whatever color that fits into your style and preferences. And on top of that, and this is probably my favorite part, you can actually customize it further by having your initials sewn into the back of the shoe here. I think that's just a really nice touch and it adds just a little bit extra to the style of the shoe. Now to wrap this whole thing up here, I think these are fantastic shoes and I was really glad to receive them and learn more about them. The closest thing that I've actually got in my possession before I got these was some Sperry boat shoes and I can tell you one, these are way more comfortable and two, there is a big difference in quality with the materials and the craftsmanship. I mean really just picking one of these up and looking it over and holding it in your hand, you really just get that feeling and vision that somebody hand stitched this together, somebody hand painted this shoe. It's just amazing to me how good these guys are at their craft and to me really this is art. Now I, and I know it sounds like I'm hyping the shoes, I'm hyping the brand, that's really not what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to just explain to you guys what I feel and see when I hold these shoes and I wear them. I think that they're very well made and I know that some of you may not agree. People have oftentimes very different opinions and preferences on things like shoes and clothes and so I'm obviously talking to you guys that enjoy shoes like this or maybe someone who's looking to try drivers for the first time. All I can really tell you here is what I see and what I feel and for me these were really well done and I enjoyed checking them out. Lastly though the price and I saved this for last on purpose. I've done a little bit of research and really I feel like for what these are and what they're made of and what's gone into them I think that they're fairly priced really and I also think that they're competitively priced based on other brands. According to their site most of the styles and colors sell for 245 euros which is approximately 286 bucks and some change. Now again I know things like this are kind of in the eye of the beholder you know you have to decide if it's worth it for you but hopefully I've demonstrated here why I believe them to be worth the price and I really feel strongly about that but I was able to get a discount code for you guys. The awesome folks over at Max Lamari have offered a nice little discount to you guys the subscribers to make it an even better deal for you. But that is it though for today. I want to thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it and tap on either of those subscribe buttons down there so you can see more videos like this one. Stay tuned here to the channel too because I will be back with you guys with an all new video again very soon. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.